Welcome to Engineers Academy. Subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to receive the notification for the upcoming videos. Now I am going to solve this problem 1273. In this problem, it is said that the water sprinkler positioned at the base of a hill releases a stream of water with a velocity of 15 feet per second as shown right. So here, uh, here is a sprinkler at the bottom of this hill right and the here the water stream has a velocity of 15 feet per second square and the velocity is making 60 degree angle with the horizontal right so it is given so we are asked to determine the point b x y where the water strikes the ground on the hill right so we have to find the coordinates of this point b so let's say that the coordinates of this point b from this origin is let's say x y right so this point b is x distance away from the origin along x and y distance away from the origin along y so this horizontal distance is x and this vertical distance is y right so we have to find this x and y and we are given that the hill is defined by the equation right so the hill is the this hill is defined by this path so y equals to 0.05 x square feet and it is said that neglect the size of the sprinkler here. Yeah? So we have to neglect the size of the sprinkler. So now if, if this is the direction of the initial velocity, so then this velocity has two components, right? So let me resolve this velocity into its components. So then uh, one of its components will be along x, right? And then there will be one another component of this velocity which is along y, right? So these are the two components of this velocity. So this component is vx and this component is vy, right? Or we can say that this is y dot and this is x dot, right? So now we can find the vx. So vx is equal to x dot is equal to so this is 15 and Vx is the cos component of this 15, right? So we will write 15 cos of 60 degrees, right? So this is 7.5 feet per second. Similarly, Vy is equal to, uh, if we say that this is the initial velocity, right? So then this will be V naught X and V naught Y, let's say, right? So then this will be X naught dot and this will be Y naught dot since these are the velocities at this initial position, right? And the initial position is at the origin, right? So V naught Y is equal to Y naught dot and this will be 15 sine of 60 degree, right? So I will solve it. So now we have to find these coordinates, these X and Y coordinates of this point B. So now since it's a projectile motion and it's in the X, Y coordinates, right? So as we know, that in the projectile motion the horizontal velocity remains constant right so this means that we know that x is equal to x naught plus v naught x t right so this is the equation right since there is the in the horizontal direction acceleration is zero right so we have this equation for the projectile motion so this this is the initial point right so if if we uh, look into this so the, this is the origin right so this means that x naught and y naught both are zero right so if this is the initial position right so we can write that the final position x is equal to x naught is zero right and v naught x so v naught x is 7.5 right so we can write that the x is 7.5 t so x as a function of time is given by this equation now right so x this is x of t function and now if we uh, consider the vertical motion right so we can write that y is equal to y naught plus v naught y t minus half g t square right and since this is the positive velocity direction, right? So the acceleration is acting downward. So this g is negative, right? So if this g is negative, so that is why I have put this minus sign here, right? And the initial y naught is zero, right? So this is y naught is zero. So we have to put this y naught. And v naught y is 15 sine of 60 degrees into t 
minus and g value in feet per second square is 32.2 t square right so this is equal to y let me simplify this first so this comes out to be 12.99 t and this is minus and 32.2 divided by 2 is 16.1 t square right and since we are given that y is equal to 0 0.05 x square so now we have x in terms of t right so we can find y of t function if we put this x equals to this thing in this equation right so this will be 0 0.05 and this will be 7.5 t whole square right so this will give us y of t functions so let me simplify this first so this y comes out to be 2.8125 t square right so now this is y of t function so now if we put y equals to this in this equation right so we will have one equation and one unknown right so we can write it like this so this will be 2.8125 t square and this will be equal to 12.99 t minus 16.1 t square right so we can write it like this and we can simplify this so first let me simplify this so now we have this uh, quadratic equation right so we can find the t value by using calculator right so if we find the roots of this equation so then we will get the t value right uh, to which uh, this water stream will strike right so we will find that time t so let me find that time t so now this quadratic equation has two roots one is t equals to zero and one is t equal to 0 0.687 second right so this is the valid answer so now we are asked to find these x and y coordinates so we have these two functions of x, x of t and y of t so we can put these this t value in this equation a and this equation b so that will give us the coordinates of this point b right so we can find that x coordinate so x coordinate will be 7.5 into 0 0.687 seconds and similarly y will be equal to 2.8125 into 0 0.687 whole square so now these are the coordinates of uh, point b that is x is 5.15 feet and y is 1.33 feet so now uh, from this we can conclude that when this water stream is projected with this 15 feet per second velocity so it will take 0 0.687 second to reach this uh, point b and this point b is 5.1 feet away from the origin along x and it is 1.33 feet away from the origin along y. So this is the solution of this problem.